bing bing what up youtube it's bro love back for another dope tutorial we're working with the new mark pto one scratch and um i did a little mod with my knob here i basically reversed the fader knob here because i'm left-handed and if you look at that first video where i'm scratching out of the box it sounded like crap okay so if you're heavy-handed the record does tilt a little more than i like it looks like the needle is jumping up but it's not very stable uh, because apparently here on the uh, platter there's some wobbliness when you're uh, scratching your record Rick Ricky D Rick D Rick Rick this actually goes up and down and so there's a modification where you can take the turntable and keep it from moving and hopefully you guys can see that from this angle um, it basically mods the platter so it doesn't move around so um, let's uh, go ahead and get started this will be an unboxing and tutorial so um, thankfully today's my birthday June 2nd and uh, I ordered this package from a company uh, called Bahari designs and uh, I put the link in the uh, description of the um, I put the link in the description of the uh, video and then that way uh, you guys can go in there and uh, click on that if you have this um, particular piece of gear um, I ordered this on the 5th of May 6th of May somewhere and it ended up not getting here until the 1st of June and so uh, yeah keep in mind that um, it has to go through customs their customs and our customs because you know they got to make sure it's not a bomb or drugs or whatever um so yeah bahari designs i think he's a independent engineer out of europe um so uh yeah support that man <laughs> go ahead and open up the box and see what we got up in this joint real quick I don't know if this has been repackaged or not. It looked like it was repackaged. Um, because the address is to Sound Days, 7009 Plaza Drive, uh, Niagara Falls, New York. And if you live in the U United States and uh, you know a little bit of geography, you know that Niagara Falls is in Nevada. Uh, hopefully I'm not blowing up anybody's spot or putting anybody on blast um i'm just glad that it made it through customs okay respect the blade the blade will respect you you disrespect the blade the blade will disrespect you okay wait a minute this is not Somebody sent me another birthday gift. This is, it feels like a prank, but it's not a prank. This is a, this is a rare record. I'm not sure. Hold on a second, man. Am I really, hold on, I'm messing up my lighting. <laughs> well, isn't this a pleasant birthday surprise? Um, wow, this is amazing. I have no idea who this is from. No idea who this is from. <laughs> okay, so here's, here's, here's what's weird right now. Um, I posted online the other day that I was looking for a particular record and a very good friend of mine uh, sent me uh, this 
Nina Simone record uh, has a song called Mississippi Goddamn on it. And it's very, very, uh, very, very new. It, it hasn't seen a needle. Um, it's a DJ edit and it comes with the original <laughs> uh, insert. Uh, and it also has uh, the serial number and it also has a serial number here so it matches it's authentic and i'm here doing a youtube video thinking that i got my gear from europe and some blessed soul sent me I, i'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm gonna explode man somebody sent me a a mint condition pressing 1965, published by Perv, 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 Verve Music Group. This is a re-release from 2016, and or it was copyrighted in 2016. Wow, this is a mint condition pressing of the original Nina Simone. It's got Strange Fruit, Trouble in Mind, Cinnamon, which I love, Timberland. Uh, for that on um, uh, what is it uh, Old Timberland on uh, Shock Value album it's great um, wow now wow this record does not have Mississippi uh, GD on it um it is a uh, a blessed gift. Now, which one? Whichever one of you guys sent this to me, um, how you got my address? I don't know. Whatever. But uh, jeez, uh, I am uh, I'm blessed, man. So, I guess this is a birthday uh, stream or post. I got my original uh, Nina Simone 45 release. And what's interesting about this release is that. Um, when she sent this record out to the DJs, they destroyed them and they mailed them back. It was a, it was a tough time. And what's really great is that uh, I'm able to get a copy of it. But considering the things that the uh, world is going through right now, it's a really good um, record to receive and play. Look at that. Look at me on my birthday. All right, well, um, <laughs> it felt like a prank. I will come back and do this video later all about peace scratch 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 scratch